Good Thursday evening, Oswego. I'm meteorologist Brian Donegan. Happy Friday Eve. Let's get right to your forecast for tonight. Some snow showers and flurries, just a general trace to one inch, perhaps one to three for the Tug Hill. What's it looking like out there, Brian? Thanks, Brittany. Boy, was it nice outside today. We got the 74 degrees today. It felt more like September than October, if you ask me. And we're going to get one more nice day tomorrow before the cold front starts bringing in some rain, and then Hurricane Sandy starts moving into our area. For tomorrow, though, we are watching a cold front out over the Great Lakes. You can see the front right around here over Michigan as there's a line of showers and thunderstorms pushing eastward. They'll work their way into central New York tomorrow morning, and they could impact the morning commute. Uh, I think I'll take the rain and the warm weather over the dry, cold, wet thing or whatever. I don't know. I just, I just want to be warm again. I'm with you there. <laughs> Sunday is, is not looking bad. 68? I mean, come yeah, on. It's right? October. <laughs> Good Thursday evening, Oswego. I'm meteorologist Brian Donegan. Happy Friday Eve. Let's get right to your forecast for tonight. Some snow showers and flurries, just a general trace to one inch, perhaps one to three for the Tug Hill. But it's going to be a cold night regardless, 20 to 25 for the low. Now let's take a look at your weather tap radar. Not much going on in our area right now, just a few flurries out there. There's some snow to the north. That's going to miss us. It's moving towards the east. But I, I do believe there will be some lake effect snow showers developing just to the south and east of Lake Ontario later tonight. So you may need the snow brush in the morning. Now your TOP weather headline, let's take a look. Snow showers and flurries tonight, as I mentioned, just trace to an inch or so. Then we'll have a cold finish to, your, to the week. Your Friday is going to struggle to get much above 32 degrees. But then beyond Friday, we'll be under a warming trend for the next five days or so. We'll take a look at how warm we're going to get coming up in the five-day forecast. Let's take a look around the state now. There is a cold front. You can kind of see it here on the temperature map. We're in the 20s to the north. The cold front has already passed through here. Now it's moving south, so once it passes south, Syracuse will probably drop in the 30s and to the 20s later tonight. That's what's going to cause the lake effect snow to develop later on. Now for Friday, I'm watching this stationary front here. It's going to move up later as a warm front later in the weekend, but before it does that, there's going to be some light snow around for the day on Friday, probably late in the day and into the evening and overnight hours. So let's time that. In, let's time that for you in your future cast. 7 a.m. when you're waking up to go out to class. Just a few clouds around Central New York. Nothing to worry about, but as I said, you may need the snow brush to clean off your car. By 1 o'clock tomorrow, when you're heading out to lunch or your afternoon class, not much going on still, but you can see there's a few rain and snow showers across the southern tier in the Finger Lakes. They're going to be tracking northward as we approach dinner time, say 7 o'clock, perhaps earlier. Those snow showers will enter, enter our region so there will be a few more snowflakes for you dodge tomorrow night. Now, there's going to be some mild air moving in for the second half of the weekend, the first half of next week. You can see Friday, Saturday, by Sunday it approaches western New York, and by Monday and especially Tuesday, we're really going to feel the warmth here across Oswego County and central New York. Now, your class day forecast for tomorrow, 27 to start, just some clouds around, but we'll warm up not very much. It'll stay cold throughout the day, only to around 32 degrees, by tomorrow afternoon with some snow showers and flurries late in the day, late afternoon towards dinner time, we'll call it. For tomorrow night, those snow showers and flurries, just a trace to an inch or so, drop down to near 30, it's another cold night tomorrow night. Your five-day forecast, cold tomorrow, then a bit milder on Saturday, we're in the mid-40s, just an early flurry. Then by Sunday, look at that, 56 degrees, just some afternoon rain showers, better than snow, I guess, if you're not a snow lover. Then on Monday, still mild with some rain showers around. And by Tuesday, another mild day, chance of some rain again in the mid-50s. So we're going from barely above freezing tomorrow and then into the 50s, about 20, 10 to 20 degrees above normal by the second half of the weekend. 